Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out TikToks that are only for the girls. Me to myself when I put all the squish in my living room at 1 a.m. to take a video. How do you have so many? That is a lot of squishmallows. She got the entire factory. That is quite the collection. Tell me you are mentally ill without telling me you are mentally ill. It's mental illness, isn't it? Him, where are you right now? Me, because I'm still mad. <laughs> no! Cause they would actually fall for this. This is taking pettiness to the next level. Like yeah, I'm actually just chilling at home. But I'm gonna make him think I'm out partying. I'll just wait till he finds this TikTok. <laughs> Yo, what <laughs> is this? What is that? It's a poster girl's dress? This should look like an American girl doll dress. Yo, put it to your body. Is that a sleeve? Put it to your body. What the f Oh, that's a dress? That tiny little sleeve. I thought that was gonna on your arm, maybe your leg. Mind blown. It's stretchier than Elastigirl girl herself. <laughs> Texting his group chat when he's in the bathroom. Guess who I'm with? <gasps> <gasps> Please don't tell me you're with that ugly gal, Terry. <gasps> she's not ugly, she's fine ass. That's not what you said the other day! <laughs> so he got all these secrets and he's just gonna keep his phone unlocked. The rule of thumb. Unless you like getting hurt, do not go through his phone. POV, you hang out with your male hey, what's coworker. Up? Hey, it's good to see you again. Good to see you too. What's the adventure tonight? All right, so uh, if you take this road down here, there's actually a bowling alley. And I thought that maybe <laughs> uh, if we uh, called the place and see if we can make a reservation for a lane, that we would be able to. <laughs> no, no, no. You see, this is where you get a bunk. Straight to horny jail. Who said anything about a bowling alley? When I got a perfectly good back seat. Right there. He forgets. This is supposed to be wine. Ah. Uh, well, that's <laughs> kind of familiar. <laughs> I, I do that. Uh, I don't like this one bit. Oh, the way he just. No! You don't even have to say anything. We understand, unfortunately. Nine months pregnant with a nine pound baby? That's huge! One day postpartum? That's after you have the baby! You know, if it wasn't for TikTok, I would have had no idea. You know, so many people think you have the baby, and then the next day you're just like flat again. No, that is not the case. And it still looks like there's a baby in there. You know, you gotta give it some time to deflate. Not everybody goes back to their normal stomach in a few weeks. I love seeing this kind of real content. Get a second pad and place it horizontally where your butt goes. Wait a second. Every month, for five days, since I was 10 years old, I'm afraid to sneeze. And you're telling me all I had to do was take two pants! This is life changing right here. Who knew this whole time? You could use more than one. It sounds like it would be illegal. But no, that's some full Bidusi coverage for real. I'm thirsty. When I don't feel like going downstairs for something to drink. Refreshing. Did she just do what I thought she did? Ma'am! That is illegal. If the baby do it, why can't I? Y'all are getting way too comfortable on this app. Some ice cold water sure does sound good though. Two second eyebrows, again, since y'all don't think I could do both. This will blow my mind every single time. How people do this. It's all on the flick of the wrist, just How is it so quick? You know, this would actually be really cool. Like, you having a bad day, you just draw on some mean eyebrows, you in a silly goofy mood, put them a little higher, slant them upwards. The possibilities are endless. Dressing up as men so we can walk to the gas station at night safe. And you know what? That's actually kind of convincing. You know, the tattoos already make you look hard. Yeah, I wouldn't be messing with anybody who wears sunglasses and a chain at night. This is literally a POV from my friend's car. You know, I'm pretty sure this is the same exact car too. She's just, sorry, it's just a little messy. It's fine, just get in. You know, maybe it's my fault. Because all of these years, I'm like, oh, it's fine. I don't mind if it's messy. There's me and these water bottles and receipts from three years ago. And I have to fight for some foot room. I don't care what you say. Girl's car is always gonna be messy. Mine included. I just got too many things in there. You know you a bad bitch. I thought it was a toddler. Ain't it past your bedtime? 
No need for makeup. What? No! On the glasses? What in five minute crafts is this? Where was this hack my entire life? Am I gonna look stupid if I try this? You know, if done right, I feel like this might actually work. And instead of like doing a full face of makeup, just like pop the glasses on and you're good. I don't care what anyone says. There is nothing more embarrassing than walking around with one of these. Everyone knows how it got there. They know what you did. Your gardener, your mailman, your dad, your grandpa, your uncles, your brothers, your trash truck driver, the cashier at the grocery store. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. <laughs> you walking around with a pregnant belly? Everybody knows exactly how it got there. You know, if I realized that, I would not be leaving my house. Y'all wouldn't know until the baby is out. And you know, maybe you guys wouldn't know at all. I could have several children and you guys wouldn't know. Y'all seen this girl on TikTok literally beat herself with a giant beauty blender. The pits too? I love these videos so much. Must you be that aggressive? Will your makeup last longer if you literally beat it onto your face? Where'd she get that beauty blender from? I mean, I would've gave myself a concussion trying to do my concealer. Me, post a selfie. Friend commenting, gorgeous. That one bestie. Get me pregnant. Um, that's me. I just love my female friends so aggressively. They just make me act up and say things like that. Do you feel safe when you go to the bank? Always. Oh, why wouldn't you when you got a Doberman literally watching your back? You got that scary dog privilege until somebody offers him a treat. Why you got them nails? Oh, cute on one side, but on the other. Oh, she gotta do gymnastics or something. I have never seen a blister so bad. Girl, them hands giving me trypophobia. You can fit a whole peanut M&M inside there. Okay, quickly, flip them over again. Run to y'all public restroom ASAP to get that Dyson Airblade curls. No way, because those hand dryers, they are Dyson. Dyson Airwrap, what, like $600? The Dyson hand dryers that they got in the public restroom. You telling me it's the same kind of curl? Okay, but I watched another video that said how filthy these were, and it's more sanitary to just like air dry your hands than use an air dryer. I don't trust hand dryers. It's literally just like blowing germs all over your wet hands. No thank you. My sister and I finally getting along. Is that my top? I don't know, me and my sister never fought over stuff. She is the one person that I will actually share things with. And it's like, if she buys something that I really like, she'll be like, this is our jacket. Okay, nice. We've come a long way. Client screaming because I just pulled out her eyelash. Me, an empath, sensing some kind of pain. I've been getting my lashes done for the past several years. And whenever she pulls out my lash, I am too afraid to scream or make any sound of pain. But you will see a single tear just like slowly rolling down my cheek. Girls night idea, BYOB. Bring your own board. Like charcuterie? Oh, sushi board. There she is, the charcuterie, charcuterie. Chick-fil-A board. Oh, that looks good. Fruit and champagne. Oh, she fancy. The pizza board. Dessert board. Whoa, y'all are gonna be eating good tonight. The Trader Joe's board. I wish she put on that, some orange chicken and tacos. Now this is my kind of night. That Chick-fil-A board got exactly five minutes until the fries get cold. I might just do this for my birthday. I shaved my head. My hair was usually up, pinned back, or in a hat. I liked keeping it out of my face because when I wasn't, I found it irritating. I feel the same exact way. Does that mean I should shave my head? No, because I'm afraid it's literally never gonna grow back. I think we have like the same hair texture too. Oh, she looks so good with short hair. Shaving my head has been in the back of my mind for years. I've always been hesitant to do it. I feel like her hair looks so good short. Feel so good having short hair, yeah, I would imagine. But I hate having my hair in my face. When I'm not recording videos, I always have it up. I don't think I could pull it off though. The only thing that changed in this video is the length of my hair. I am still me. I mean, I would hope so. And her boyfriend supports her. All you need is somebody who loves and supports you no matter what. A few hours after I shaved mine, he shaved his. The entire household is shaving heads tonight. Love that for us. She can pull it off. I have a very large flat spot on the back of my head. And if I ever shaved my head, I feel like it would be very visible. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.